Hey, this is Ellis with The Verge checking out Sunrise for iPhone, a future-thinking new calendar app that's built on Google Calendar but pulls in data from other places like Facebook and Eventbrite. When you first open Sunrise, you see all the events from all your different Google calendars. So what's different here? Well, the first thing is that Sunrise pulls data from uh, other calendars you have where you've already responded to events like on Facebook. So if you look here, I have two events side by side to demonstrate. I have uh, Mindy's 24th birthday shindig and I have Mindy's birthday party. So here's what I was already using for my calendar. It's Mindy's birthday party at Lolita Bar. There's really nothing there to look at. If you tap on this, it comes straight from Facebook. You can see I'm going. I already RSVP'd. Here's the exact hours. Here are the event details. I could write on the event wall, see who's attending, and even see a map of where I'm going. It's really just a whole new way to look at events on your calendar that come from elsewhere. And what's really nice is that if she changes the time, it's going to change right here in my phone. Another nice thing about Sunrise is the way it handles meetings with people that you've both attended to. And it'll actually populate a little image of them, which is just a nice personal touch when you're looking at events. And here's an event I have with Pierre that he invited me to. And uh, you can actually send him a message straight from inside the event, which is something you just can't really do in a calendar app unless you have uh, attendees attached. And you know, look at the location of the event, and if anything changes, it's going to be updated in your calendar immediately. If you want to scroll through your events, there's this kind of intuitive, nice way to scroll through all your events. You can go a couple months back and a year and a half into the future. There's no search just yet, but I've been told it's on the way. One of the cool things about Sunrise is that if you're not sure exactly where something is, if it's already in that Facebook event or you entered it in, you just swipe on the event, tap the little direction symbol, and you're straight into Google Maps getting directions how to get there. And like I said before, if she changes the location of the event, it's going to change the location of your directions. One other unique feature of Sunrise is birthdays, which it pulls from Facebook. And if you tap on birthdays, it actually pulls in people's timeline photos straight from Facebook. And right here, you can either post on their timeline or send them a text message, which is really convenient so you don't forget your friends' birthdays. And of course, since Sunrise is a calendar client, after all, you can create events. So if you tap the plus sign up here, you can enter in a title, uh, use a really nice dialogue they've come up with for uh, choosing your start and end times for uh, events. You can make them recurring. You can also invite people straight from here, choose your calendar, set some alerts. It's basically everything you can do on the iOS calendar. One cool feature, though, is that you can actually enter in a location, uh, and Sunrise will pull from places on Google Maps near you. So if you do City Bakery, it'll pop right in there, and it'll actually change the time zone based on where that place is if you want to make an event someplace else. Just like in Fantastical or in Google Calendar on the web, you can quick add by holding down on the plus sign. And this actually uses the same algorithms as uh, Google on the web to, let's say you do dinner in Paris on Saturday at 8 p.m., hit add, that's going to pop straight into your calendar with no more effort. And lastly, since Sunrise is plugged into both Google and Facebook, it actually combines all your event invites in one uh, spot at the top of the app and you can respond to things, check out event details right on walls straight from here. So if I'm not going to this and I hit decline, it saves my RSVP and now it's going to be taking effect on Facebook and it's going to be gone from my list. If you head to Sunrise's settings menu right here, you can change settings for your accounts like let's say uh, which accounts you want show up, which you don't, and you can also add new accounts. There's also preferences for whether you want your weather in Fahrenheit or Celsius, Google Maps or Apple Maps, and what your default calendar is. Sunrise's way of handling events is very clearly the future of calendar apps, plugging in everything you've RSVP'd to on various services and giving you the context you need. And since it's built on the ability to feed in APIs from other services, you could really quickly add support for something like TripIt and have live updating events for flights, just like in Google Now. You'll be able to very easily follow a TV show or a football team have the schedule plugged straight into your phone without having to do anything. Sunrise is a really refreshing take on calendar as a consumption experience, a cloud calendar for the age of cloud apps.